There are very few opportunities that provide marketers, or anyone for that matter, a method to be able to develop business. We're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions as to how to be able to tailor your marketing system. The database we are using to create your campaigns is through Data Axel, a division of reference solutions provided through library systems within the United States. This database is registered under Black Network Associates and is another reason we ask that you keep the authorization code confidential. This is how we are going to do our specific targeted marketing. So let's get started. Drag and highlight the authorization code. You're going to right click and copy. And then you want to click to open the reference solutions page. This will bring you to the Monroe County Library portal. Then click the link here on the page to access the database. You will then accept the terms and conditions. Once on the next page, paste the authorization code and then click Next to access the database. Now you will see the option here for U.S. businesses. Click to enter database. You will see the Quick Search and Advanced Search tabs up here at the top. You want to choose the Advanced tab. This is how we will get specific in our target marketing objectives. From the side menu, you check the boxes you want to search. First, we check Keyword Standard Industrial Code. This allows you to look up by industry. Then next down is county. You can specify state and county or even narrow the search by zip code. Next down on the menu is headquarters and branch. This is where you can specify businesses that are headquartered and established locally. Last but not least is in the special selects category is the web address checkbox. This is an important step in the process because it allows you to pull the emails from the web address and began a digital prospecting campaign. Once all of the boxes have been selected, you would need to fill in your search criteria for each category. So now, shifting to the middle column up at the top under record type, it will default to verified business. This is important because you want active businesses that are open and operational. Next down in the keyword section, we are using chiropractors and dentists. Once selected, they will appear below in the selected section. Next down is the county section. In this illustration, we are using the state of Indiana. We have selected all of the counties, but again, we can narrow this search down to a specific county or zip code. Next is the headquarter and branch section. This is important to ensure you are connecting with businesses that are local to you and not a subsidiary of a parent company that has no local decision-making power. Here, we selected headquarters and single location. Next is web address. This is where you can obtain the email from the web address. As an example from our BNA website, you can see the drop-down displaying all of the emails associated with our domain. You will be able to visit any site on the web to acquire the emails with this technique. For purposes of this illustration, we will be pulling email address in bulk. Which brings me to my next segment, which is the update count button, which will show the amount of records. We have a total of 4,896 total. And when we pull the emails addresses from these domains, you could end up with more than 25,000 prospects. Next, we click on view results. Now you can see the specific records. Most will have the executive name and contact information, as well as additional key personnel in that company and organization. As an example, we can now download these records. In the next segment, we will be going over spreadsheet management. This is where your Microsoft Excel and Cut Tools for Excel will come into play. Click Next to proceed to the next lesson.